Sure. Oh, wait. I tied some hair into the knot. Okay, hold up. Okay, there we go. Jess, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showing you guys a couple different ways to style and how to wear the very popular trend of bandanas. I love the bandana trend. I think it's so cute, especially throughout spring and as we roll into summer. It's like the perfect hair accessory for any summer hairstyle. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways to wear them and how to style them and just a couple different things you can do and tips and tricks. And this video is just chock full of um, bandana need to knows. Before we hop into this video, don't forget to subscribe down below and join the family. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to let me know by giving this a thumbs up. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. First things first, I wanted to show you guys the different types of bandanas that I'm using as I go throughout the video. The first type of bandana is definitely more like a headband. So it is a complete attached circle. It has like a scrunchier part to, you know, fit around the back of your head. And these are really great for updos because the scrunchy part allows the hairstyle to have some traction so it doesn't slip right out. The other kind are these big squares like this. I fold them into a triangle, roll them like this. And this one has the tag still, I need to take that off. But usually I kind of just roll them like this, but it ends up coming out to look like this. And the final bandana I wanted to show you guys is more of like a scarf. It's kind of like a little snake. Um, it's just a long piece of fabric. Now that you guys know what I'm working with, let's get into styling them. The first way to style it is a very basic kind of style. It's one that is super straightforward and very easy to do. I'm going to be using this bandana. So all you do is you put the bandana around your neck, you lift your hair up and over it, and then you bring it to the front and you just tie a little knot. I personally like to bring the not a little bit more off to the side. I think it's a really cute summer kind of girly look and that's pretty much the first look. I can tie this pretty tight because of the type of material. I don't have any problems with this falling down. So with this hairstyle, you shouldn't need to use any bobby pins, but if you do, you can kind of just slip them in the back to get them to stay in. If you guys don't like the look of the ends sticking out, what you can do is you can just tuck the ends under. But I like to wrap them from the front to the back because it kind of, oops, see, it sticks out. Because it kind of just makes sure that the ends are actually tucked in and they're not gonna poke out how they just were. For the next style idea, I am going to be using this scarf one. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add some design. I'm just gonna tie a knot right in the middle. And this is just kind of a fun way to add some texture to your headband and make it look a little bit more fun or stylized. Take the little knot portion, and we're just going to place it right at the top center of our heads. And I am leaving some hair in the front, and then the majority of my hair in the back. So I'm just lifting up my hair, and I'm going to tie a knot. Sure. Oh, wait, I tied some hair into the knot. Okay, hold up, okay, there we go. And there we go. I really like this one because I think it's a very fun way to transform the look of a very basic looking bandana. For our next style, I am using another scarf. And this one in particular is great for this because of the material. It's kind of a more thin, silky material, so it works really well. What we're going to do for this one is we are going to take our scarf and we're gonna tie another knot in the center. And I'm just gonna go like this going to grab from right here and I'm just pulling up this hair and I'm just gonna tie it in a quick little quick little something just so it's out of the way I'm just gonna do this top looks of 2018 am I right we're going to take our bandana with the little knot we're gonna hold it like this so the sides of the bandana stay pretty thick I'm going to place it right there at the center of our forehead To get it tied, just adjust it until you like it. And 
there you go. Another super cute thing you can do with this hairstyle is to take all your hair and we're just gonna put it into a ponytail. Just a normal low pony. I think this one is super duper cute. Moving on to style number four. This one is also another ponytail look. So we're just gonna put our hair in a high pony. Not necessarily Ariana Grande high, but you know, your average person. I like to pull out my little, my little side pieces. Not my side piece, I don't have any side pieces. I meant my hair side pieces. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these scarves. We're just gonna loop it. And then I'm just gonna tie it off like this. This one is super simple, but I think it's adorable. So cute to just have a very simple ponytail, a very simple hairstyle, and just have a cute little bandana hanging out of it. So for this next one, it requires a top knot, so I'm just gonna keep my hair in this ponytail and just kind of wrap up and around tuck the ends of my hair. You guys can make the top knot however you want. I'm just trying to be quick and efficient. And we are going to take this bandana, one of the square ones, and I'm just going to roll it up. And what we're going to do for this one is we're just going to wrap this around our little bun. I'm gonna... Oh, that's cute. I like that. Then I'm going to shove a little bit more of my bun in here because it's like super sticking out. This is the finished look for this one. Basically, you just kind of wrap the bandana around your top knot. It makes you look like put together, but in a very like simple, basic way. I feel like this is definitely an effortless cool girl look. I like it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna braid it. Braid it about halfway, about maybe this much. If you guys want to do more, that's totally cool. Depends on how long your hair is. After our hair is braided, we are going to take our little scarf and we're just going to wrap it around the hair tie. And then we're just going to knot it. And there we go. That's it. This one I think actually looks way cuter, kind of just hanging in the back versus as a side braid. The next way to style a bandana slash scarf is to make it a neckerchief. So this is one of my favorite ways. I think it's so cute. Just gonna take it and put it around our neck and make a double knot like so. This next styling thing also requires a bun, but I'm going to do a different kind of bun just to add some variety. So I'm gonna take my hair like this and I'm just gonna wrap it around and make a very kind of just messy, messy top knot. I'm gonna tie a little hair tie around it. So this hairstyle is great if you're just in a rush, you need to put your hair up, you need to look cute, and you really don't have any time to do your hair. For this one, I'm going to take one of the actual like headband bandanas and I'm just going to put it around, adjust it, pull out my little, my little side pieces that aren't side pieces and Boom! I wear this literally all the time. For the next, okay, for the next style, we are going to be making another braid, and this one is actually a side braid. And I'm gonna loosen up this side. I'm choosing to use this one. Just a simple side braid. You guys can definitely make it your own um, and play around with things. For my final way on how to style bandanas, we're gonna do something kind of different. I'm going to stand up my favorite jeans. We're going to take our bandana and I'm taking this one, I'm going to thread it through and make a belt. So this is really great if you're in a pinch and you forget to bring a belt somewhere or if you just want a kind of more stylized look, something kind of fun and different. That about wraps it up for today's video. I don't have 
too much else to say. I have a couple really fun videos coming up that I think you guys will like. And I'm finally finishing up working on all of my travel vlogs from the last couple weeks. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Like I always say, if you guys need any advice or prayer requests or anything, let me know in the comment section or DM me. So on that note, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!